Hey everybody, today I am at McDevitt Trust in Manchester, New Hampshire, and we are looking at a 2020 Mac Anthem, um, as you can see right there. The Anthem came out a couple years ago, and I think that this is the nicest version that they've come out with so far. Um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of it, and let me know what you guys think. You can check us out in the comments, um, do me a favor and just subscribe, and that way you can keep seeing some of these sweet walk around videos. So here is the front of it. This is actually really interesting. Um, I haven't seen this before, but the hood latch is actually under the front of the grill here. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's like a car. So you pull that sideways, pops the hood, and then you open it up, which I thought was really cool. I'd never seen that before. This is the MP8 engine. Um, it produces about 1,500 or so foot of torque and a little bit over 400 horsepower, like 425. Um, it's geared up to, you know, obviously haul. And as always, I'm very impressed. Oh, it's like a John Deere. <laughs> as always, I'm very impressed um, with the engine design. They always look so clean and nice on Max. So. I really like the way this one looks. <clears throat> As always, be sure to drop your safety before you try and close the hood. I can't tell you how many times I've messed that up. They also recently changed the grill on this, um, which I think was a cool redesign for the Anthem. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, as I'm sure somebody will, uh, but I believe this was the first truck that Mac and Volvo did like a real um, collaboration on together. Chrome wheels. Chrome pipes on the back. Pretty uh, kind of standard looking back here. This one is I can't see if this has wheel long frame I don't seems longer than usual maybe not though we have the nice chrome fenders two chrome tanks on it things dripping I like the bumpers on these too also another new or new I don't know if it's new this year or new last year but I like these fender mirrors they're kind of cool and they just go back and forth. They're set up just like normal mirrors, so if they get hit, they fold in. It's kind of cool, a little different from your standard mirrors. This is the sleeper cab. Um, I know you can set this up pretty much however you want it. Another, um, so here's the inside of the door. You got two spots right there for stuff for storage climbing in <clears throat> really nice interior I love the way that <laughs> new trucks instead of smelling like new cars they smell like heavy commercial plastic <laughs> because of all the all the plastic on the mattress and stuff um, so you got some more storage up here, another one over there, you have more storage actually up in here, and right here, little thing right there, more up here, um, the seats are cool looking, kind of like, a, almost like a race design or something, very nice. This is the first time I've actually started this up, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. It looks like it's a digital display here. Fade up the little Mac guy. Oh, has a radio. <laughs> oh, it comes up on that. That's cool. So we got our... Let's see, where's the display? Is that the display? There we go. Oh, no, that's the radio controls. So you got your 
fuel level's low. <laughs> Hold on. So, uh, there's your information getting almost 10 miles per gallon, which seems like a lot. Um, 18 miles till you're out of gas. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I like the look of the whole kind of cluster there. I really like the look of this. Phone controls here, so you can hook your phone right to the thing. You got radio controls over here. Mac radio. And then all the various gauges and buttons that you need. Lots of power plugins. Another cool feature I noticed was on this, the steering tilt is actually down here, which I think is kind of kind of cool. I hadn't seen that before. I don't know if they've done that in the past, but I like that. It's a it seems like a much better way to move your thing up and down. But now moving into the back. You got, hold on, let me turn on the lights here. Where did I see those? Sorry, this is actually my first time in here, so excuse me for uh, not knowing exactly where everything is. Oh, they're up here. Cab lights are up above the. Looks like you got one, two, four lights up top. Back here you got your more power, USB, normal 12 volt, and uh, no audio out, I guess. <laughs> Not really sure what that does. Your controls for the uh, cabin. Ton of storage in here. Over the bed. I'm assuming you must be able to get a second bunk but I don't know that for sure and then down here I forgot to release the webbing more storage under there under the bed and more right there TV mount plug in for a TV I don't know if it comes with it or not, but that's pretty sweet. And more storage. More storage right there, but I can't get it open. And more storage under there. So all in all, it's a pretty nice truck. Looks like some pretty serious blackout curtains. There's a little space around, but it might button down if I'm just not seeing it. But, I like it. It's very roomy. There is a little step right here that I keep tripping over. So there's a little tiny step between the cab and the, between the cab and the sleeper, which keeps getting me every goddamn time. Out the passenger side, you got your passenger window, and then more storage. So that's it. I hope you guys uh, got what you were looking for out of this. Um, if you guys are interested in this, I'm not sure on the price on this, um, but if you are interested in the truck, you could always call McDevitt in Manchester, um, and I'm sure that they would be happy to talk to you about it. If uh, you have any questions or anything, feel free to stick them in the comments below. I'll answer them as best I can. Um, thank you very much for checking us out. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day.